Hello all, thank you for being here with us, watching another episode of Learn from the Greeks. And today we have with us uh, Sava Christou. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here with us. And uh, shall we start about uh, introducing yourself a little bit? Sure. So my name is Sava Christou. Uh, I'm a film writer and director. Uh, originally from Limassol, Cyprus. And uh, yeah, I, I studied in uh, Aristotelio Thessaloniki Fine Arts. Uh, I did my first uh, my degree, bachelor degree in Fine Arts. And that's, that means painting, drawing, sculpture, and all that stuff. And then uh, I moved to LA at 2015, which I did my master's in filmmaking in New York Film Academy. So since then, I've been in LA for five years. And uh, may I ask, why did you get into screenwriting and filmmaking, and in particular in indie filmmaking? Sure. So I basically found out uh, found out in in my third year of uh, back in Greece that I didn't really like fine arts. I was, you know, uh, always playing with my camera and stuff. So what I did, I Basically, I've been writing like uh, short stories or, uh, and all that stuff. And I, I was inviting my friends to play in, in the movies. So since then, you know, when I was 23, I figured out, okay, this is what I like to do. So this is what I'm going to do. So I continued with my uh, uh, studies in fine arts uh, to get the degree so I can do my master's in filmmaking. And that's what I did. I, I went back to Cyprus uh, when I was 25 to, you know, figure out things. And then I moved to LA immediately. That, that, was, that wasn't my plan, but that was mm -hmm. uh, my decision that time. Uh, and now the, you said about indie filmmaking. So basically uh, for someone to, <laughs> to go to LA uh you know when you're 25 and you you're you don't have like green card and all that stuff it's hard to go and knock at the door into studios and stuff so you you have to do stuff your own so uh i think most of filmmakers they start from indie and then they get hired to do bigger stuff uh yeah okay i see so it's a start for you the indie filmmaking uh, yeah, most mm -hmm. cases, yes. Okay, and uh, does COVID offer, in a way, an advantage to the distribution of indie films um, as everything goes digital nowadays? And uh, tell us your experience with uh, your film, uh, Catherine's uh, Lullaby, uh, which okay. uh, will be distributed in, in May. Yes, that's correct. So. Yes, COVID, I think, offers uh, it's an advantage for indie filmmakers. It does, this doesn't mean that it's, it, it's a good thing because like all the platforms and, and everybody else, they, you know, they don't pay enough now because, you know, there's a lot of, they want a lot of movies out there. So they buy with a little bit of money. So of course, offer it, it COVID offers, but it's not ideal. I will say that. Uh, and everybody hoped that we wouldn't be here with COVID. Uh, and thank you for mentioning my film. So Catherine's Lullaby, which now we changed the name because of the distribution, it's now Captive. So this is the first time I say it out loud online. Uh, oh, Lullaby, so. <laughs> yes, so Catherine's Lullaby becomes captive, and uh, I cannot say the which company it is, but we will be in theaters, limited limited distribution in LA and New York. Hopefully, mm -hmm. with COVID, it will happen in May, uh, but you never know. You never know what's gonna happen. I really hope we're gonna be in the theaters, but we we'll see. Mm -hmm. Uh, after that, we are going to go, uh, you know, uh, Amazon and other platforms. And from there, we, we see with the company what, they, what they're going to do. 
Okay, I wish you all all the best. Thank for you. May probably, as you said so. Seven of May. So we, let's see. Yes. Okay. And um, do you think that Hollywood is a hard to get destination? Yes. Again, because I'm from Limassol, Cyprus, and it's really far away. So coming from Greece or Cyprus to go to LA, it's a whole new York, new world. You know, it's a different culture. It's everything. So you start from nothing. So yes, Hollywood is a hard to get destination. Uh, but I really think if if you really want to do it. It's hard, but you can do it. Uh, I don't think there's anything that you can do. Uh, and also, in a way, LA offers you a lot of opportunities. Uh, even if you're, you know, from a small town back home, you know. Uh, but yeah, Hollywood is a hard to get destination. It's tough. The competition is hard. This is what you mean. Of, from. of course, yeah. There's like a lot of people exactly like you with the same talent that really want to do the same thing so yeah you know it's hard it's tough um is there since you you came here five years ago correct yes uh, is there a professional network for greeks uh, in la working in, in entertainment industry film industry and uh, if if not, would you think this would be a useful tool? Uh, I don't think there is like a network for Greek people in LA. I think the only thing that exists, which I really like is uh, Los Angeles Greek Film Festival, mm -hmm. uh, which I was there like uh, the, in 2017 and 18 with two short films. Uh, they are great. Uh, I I met a lot of Greek filmmakers there, and I, I actually found my composer Dimitris Mann, who is also Greek. I I, I met know. there. Uh, so I really think it they should do more events or something to get to know each other and you know uh, help each other. Which, as I said before, it's hard for someone not in USA to made it. Uh, let's let's just help each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, would you consider Greece uh, for shooting uh, a next movie? Absolutely. Uh, I always wanted to shoot, you know, a film in Cyprus or Greece. Uh, and now, you know, by with the new incentives, it's very doable. They give 40% uh, cash rebate and it's combined with 30% of uh, tax relief. So I think, I really think my next movie should be in Greece or Cyprus, or maybe, you know, should half the movie in Los Angeles and half the movie in, uh, in Greece, uh, because, you know, it's also the, the there's too much sun in LA, there's too much sun in, in Greece, there's plenty of, uh, you know, scenery to shoot in Greece. Um, the, only, the only problem that I always had with this, it's, it's the language. You, you, I mean, I consider shooting my next movie in English in Greece. So if, if that's something you can do, yes, definitely. Well, the reason is, you know, it, it limits your uh, your distribution opportunities with Greece. Unfortunately, you know, subtitles isn't the main thing now uh, worldwide. So uh, hopefully soon you can make a movie in any language and people will still want to watch it. But uh, you can a movie in Greek language, in uh, English language. Absolutely, yeah. Yes, if your story takes place in Greece, and I guess with, uh, I don't know, an American character or whatever, yes, you can do, but you cannot shoot a movie in English and then you see signs in Greek and, you know, it's, you have to be truthful to the story. Uh, but yeah, my next movie, it's, 
I can shoot at least half of the movie in Greece. So hopefully it will happen. Hopefully, yeah. And um, should I ask, when you're in LA, what do you miss most? Definitely food. <laughs> Uh, the culture also, you know, it's, I will say it again, LA, it's a place that as soon as you get your food into the airport, you're, you're immediately anxious. That, that's happened to me all the time. But when you come home, everybody's so chill, everybody's so, uh, you know, helpful, everything, you know? So one thing is the culture for sure. Uh, and the other thing is food. I really miss Greek food in LA, you know? Uh, there is, of course, a lot of restaurants, but it's not the same. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, do you have a, a, a Greek place that you have a special connection to? Like, in uh, LA? Uh, in, uh, in Greece, a summer destination? Uh, or, um... I always go to Cyprus because I'm from Cyprus. Uh, I, I miss going, you know, walking in the in the beach here in Limassol. There's a lot of great restaurants and cafe there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there's okay. no one particular. Okay, so that was our short interview, and uh, thank you for participating in our uh, program. Thank and, you so uh, much for having me. I wish you all the best for uh, your next film. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.